हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम इनिशिएटेड बाई श्री ज्ञानमंदिर विद्यापीठ फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ गुड टू सी वंस अगेन इन टूडेज इंग्लिश ग्रामर लेक्चर फॉर सेमिस्टर वन स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आर सेल्फ एक्नोलेज द फ्रेश ग्रामर टॉपिक दैट यू नीड टू लर्न इन क्लास नाइन दैट इज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेज एज यू कैन सी द नेम बिंग डिस्प्ले ऑन दी बोर्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैड a discussion with you about the 13 sub topics that we need to understand which probably we learned in the lower classes in the earlier classes isn't it out of which we practiced topics related to voice that is change of voice active voice into passive voice we practiced a few sentences in the last lecture changing a given sentence be it compound or complex into a simple one In a similar way, we practiced a few sentences related to changing a given sentence into complex and compound, respectively. And finally, we learned about the exclamatory sentence. That is, a given sentence needs to be changed into a, a change into the exclamatory sentence. If the given sentence is affirmative, we put it into exclamatory sentence. So these were the few things that we acknowledged, we practiced in the last lecture. In order to continue. the topic that is transformation of sentences or transform as directed we will continue practicing the next few sub topics that is the transformation into a negative sentence applying a question tag the assertive affirmative change of the degree no sooner hardly as soon as if unless use tw2 and remote tw2 so all this we are going to cover in today's lecture so without further ado let's take a few sentences and continue with the sixth one when the last lecture we covered five sub topics the fifth one was about exclamatory sentences changing a given sentence into an exclamatory sentence so today we will start with the sixth one that is the negative sentence so let's get started and write about the negative sentence you can note down the sentence and practice along with me first one first example it was a very old book well once again we have the same sentence but for a different purpose the sentence was taken prior to this in the previous uh, transformation for exclamation this is to be taken for changing into negative when you change a given sentence which is in the affirmative affirmative into negative make sure that you don't change the meaning the meaning must remain the same so what are we saying over here it was a very old book we are saying yes it was a very old book now we are going to maintain the same meaning but we are going to use negative words in order to write the negative sentence therefore we will be writing it in this manner it was not a new book so you see the meaning does not change and the negative sentence is also done it was not a new book see the word old has now changed to new but the meaning has remained the <coughs> same it was not so we are denying we are using a negative word over here not it was not but what it was not a new book so the meaning is same it was a very old book well this is how we write a given affirmative into negative without changing its meaning another example a textual sentence i hate schools that is what margi said remember it was a textual sentence we came across i hate schools <coughs> well very simple to write this in the negative form by using the word <coughs> i do not like schools or i don't like school the contraction can be used over here i hate schools the meaning is the same 
I don't or do not like schools. So hate, opposite will be like, but we are using the word do not. Therefore, the meaning remains the same. Don't like is equal to hate. So I don't like schools. Hence, the negative sentence has been written from its given positive form. Next, we have in transformation, that is question tags. So let's take two examples of the same. learned in the lower classes about question tags what is the use of a question tag when something is being asked you try to confirm it in order to confirm what someone or some uh, somebody has said we make use of question tags and how are they used you learned in the lower classes isn't it when you ask something in the affirmative form in the positive manner you apply a negative question tag and if the statement that is being asked the declarative sentence that has been used is a negative statement you are denying something using a negative one then the question tag should be a positive one that is what you learn so let's see how are you going to write the question tag for the given sentence margi went into the school room a textual sentence write it down Well, this is a statement. Margi went into the school room. So we are saying that yes, she went into the school room. It is a sentence in the affirmative form, a declarative sentence in the affirmative form. So we are saying yes. So what do we require? We require a negative question tag over here. Hence, we will be applying Margi went into the room, comma. Remember, we have to apply the word comma, the punctuation mark comma. Didn't she note it down? Comma needs to be applied over here before applying the tag. And then I'll be applying, didn't she? So you see, we need to be very careful while deciding this over here, didn't. Because here the verb is in the past. If the verb is in the past, we'll have to use the word did plus not for the question tag. If the verb was in the present, then we would have used do or does. You learned about this in the earlier class as well, just a quick <coughs> Remembrance for you. Second example for question tag. My father knows as much as my teacher. Write this sentence. Usually the sentence given to us is in the affirmative form, hence we will require, we will need to write over here the <coughs> negative tag over here. So let's write the negative tag. My father knows, we are saying, we are affirming, he knows as much as my teacher. So uh, here the word father is a singular noun. So what we require over here, we will be needing over here <coughs> the word doesn't he so we'll apply the word doesn't he and rewrite the sentence my father knows as much as my teacher so we are saying that we are affirming that they have the same knowledge applying the comma over here
will write the word doesn't he and we'll apply the question mark without fail well question mark needs to be applied whenever we write a question tag so didn't she and doesn't he are the two question tags that we applied for the given sentences well after this we will look into the next transformation that is interrogative the given assertive sentence be it affirmative or negative needs to be changed into transformed into a question asking statement or a question asking sentence what we refer to as interrogative sentence so you learned about this in the earlier class as well so let's take a few sentences and practice how to change a given sentence into its interrogative form the first one note it down the eighth one the eighth transformation topic interrogative he had a sparkling sense of humor it is a non textual sentence well we need to change this into the interrogative form isn't it so how are we going to do this it's very easy to change a given statement with affirmative or negative which is a declarative sentence so here it is a declarative sentence he had a sparkling sense of humor well if you think about an appropriate question tag the question tag will help you to change the given statement into an interrogative one so if i have to apply a tag over here how am i going to apply he had a sparkling sense of humor didn't he isn't it i will be applying a question tag we just learned about question tags isn't it if the statement is affirmative we apply a negative question tag the same question tag will help us to frame our interrogative sentence this is a statement we have a full stop over here as you can see so we are going to put it into an interrogative one so he had a sparkling sense of humor didn't he so same didn't he i will be using to write my answer that is the interrogative sentence didn't he now when i am asking a question i need to change the past auxiliary into the present one so had will be now changed to have didn't he have a sparkling sense of humor and undoubtedly without fail we have to apply the question mark because we are asking a question it's an interrogative sentence so the given statement has now been transformed into an interrogative this is transformation of sentence from an affirmative affirmative or assertive to interrogative next example art is equally important art is equally important a statement an affirmative st statement it's a non textual sentence that i have picked up art is equally important now think about the question tag which will help you in turn to make it into an interrogative form is is the auxiliary verb as you can see over here this is can be used to get our question tag and the same question tag can be used to make our interrogative sentence art is equally important isn't it so well i'm not writing the tag over here i'm just thinking about it so that i can get my uh, <coughs> interrogative sentence the same isn't it will be helpful to me to write my interrogative sentence isn't art equally important so i have asked a question 
the statement the sentence that i have written is an interrogative sentence the given sentence was in the assertive form it has been now structured into the interrogative form so the structure has been changed this is transformation of sentence as instructed to us as directed to us let us take two textual sentences margi went into the school room well we came across this sentence earlier also in question tags margi went into the school room and what did we write over there we had written uh, didn't she isn't it we wrote the word didn't she the same didn't she can be used to write our interrogative sentence so let's do it margi went into the school room a statement a declarative sentence needs to be changed into an interrogative one the question tag if you think about it will help you margi went into the school room didn't she i start my answer with didn't she very simple for me to change it and for anyone to change it didn't margi now we need to be careful over here went will change to go over here just as we change had into have didn't margi go into the school room so i hope you are learning how to change a given statement a sentence which is the assertive into its interrogative form one last interrogative sentence a textual one i hate schools well we came across this sentence as well isn't it where we are saying or where margi had said that she didn't like schools i hate schools yes <clears throat> how do you see the sentence i hate schools it is a declarative sentence it is an affirmative sentence saying something in the yes manner so i hate schools so don't i isn't it if i apply the tag over here what will my tag don't i the same don't i i will use to make my <clears throat> interrogative sentence don't i hate schools asking a question to ourselves so don't i hate schools will be my required interrogative sentence hence the transformation has been done the next we are going to look into is assertive after having understood interrogative let us now write assertive well the question can be in exclamatory form it could be in the interrogative form given to us and we are supposed to change it into the assertive form let's take two examples assertive is another name declarative that is statement type sentences so we are going to make a given sentence into assertive the first one <coughs> what a waste so it is a it is an exclamatory sentence note it down what a waste you see this is the sentence given to us in the exclamatory form and we are going to change it into the assertive form we are exclaiming something what a waste the word what has been used in order to show the exclamation over here now that needs to be eliminated and instead of that we are simply going to say and assert we are going to declare that it is a complete waste so it is a sheer waste it is a total waste so write down the answer in this manner 
utilizing the word it it is we are saying here we were exclaiming here we are saying we are declaring it is a sheer or you can say complete or you can say a total it is a sheer waste could be waste of anything waste of time waste of money well that's not given so we are not writing any object over here it is a sheer waste here we have declared something here we exclaimed something so this is how an exclamation has been changed into the assertive type or a declaration type next example to practice an interrogative sentence what's there to write about schools this was a textual sentence we'll change it into a declarative form let's write the question first what's there to write about schools margi said so she was asking a question what's there to write about schools well the assertive can be written in the way there is nothing much to write about schools isn't it simply we are declaring we are saying something from the question that is given to us what's there to write about school so the same thing can be said in the way there is nothing much to write about school that's the meaning when someone declares so let's write the answer there is nothing much to write about schools so what's there putting in there and the auxiliary verb from here what's there to write about schools there is and then we have add the word we are saying there is nothing much there is nothing much to write about schools well the interrogation mark will be changed to the period or the full stop next we have the degree as transformation of sentences you learned about degree in the earlier class also the positive degree the comparative degree and the superlative degree while changing a given sentence from its positive degree to comparative degree or comparative degree to superlative degree we need to take care about a lot of things so let's take a few sentences two sentences from the textual ones <coughs> and practice the 10th transformation topic Margi always hated school but now she hated it more than ever note it down was sentence given to us margi hated school but now she hated more than ever so we have to change the degree of the given sentence you can try to acknowledge and recall what degree is it given to us well the degree given to us in this sentence is the comparative degree as you can see the words but now she hated it more than ever so Margi always hated school but now she hated it more than ever gives a clear indication of comparative degree 
so this comparative degree we are going to transform into the positive degree in this manner margi always hated school but before earlier before she did not hate it so much as now so so much as now the words now will become before and more than ever will become so much as now so this is how we will change a given sentence in a particular degree that is whether it's comparative positive or superlative into the other degree as required so let's write the answer margi always hated school but before but before she did not hate it so much as now so in this manner the given sentence has been transformed from one degree to a another degree that is degree as transformation of sentences the next textual sentence that we will be writing for our practice is she had been doing worse and worse in the test a textual sentence she had been doing worse and worse in the test so try to understand the degree of this sentence you can very well see <coughs> we are going to change it into the positive degree the question given to us is in the comparative form if you acknowledge the words words and words well words is a word which is the comparative form of bad isn't it so we'll be using the word bad in order to write this sentence so she had been doing worse and worse in the test can be changed to before she had not been doing so we are saying that now she is doing worse but prior to this earlier she was not doing so much bad so worse is the comparative form of bad hence the sentence needs to be written in the uh, positive degree in this manner before she had not been doing so bad and bad in the test as she was doing now so now she is doing worse and earlier she was doing only bad so worse changed to bad let's write the answer before she had not been doing we need to apply the negative because here we are saying she had been doing worse so earlier she was not doing worse she was not doing so much bad as now so before she had not been doing so bad before she was not doing so bad and bad because we have got worse and worse so bad and bad in the test in the test and we need to apply the other words over here as she was doing now so and as has been used as a positive degree as she was doing now so you see she had been doing worse and worse worse is the comparative form of bad over here so we are just saying that earlier before she had not been doing so bad and bad in the test as she is doing in the current time now she is doing worse and worse these are the two sentences that we looked and took for practice for transformation of a degree into another degree one degree into another degree next we have no sooner hardly and as soon as so we'll take 
example for the same the next topic number 11 No sooner, hardly and as soon as. So we'll take a sentence and try to change it or transform it with all three of these. The first one, the county inspector smiled at Margie and gave her an apple. So let's write this with all three, one of each, no sooner, hardly and as soon as. Note down the question. The county inspector smiled at Margie and gave her an apple. Well, we'll have three answers for this with no sooner, hardly and as soon as one at a time. So the first one we'll be writing as with the word no sooner. <coughs> Think about it. How are you going to write it? We will be writing the word no sooner and then we will be writing the answer. So no sooner did, county, did the county inspector smile at Margie than he gave her an apple. So along with the word no sooner we will have to apply the word than as well. So no sooner than we are using no sooner for this sentence. No sooner. No sooner did the county inspector smile at Margie He gave her, than he gave her, no sooner did the county inspector smile at Margie, than he gave her an apple. Well, I hope you understood. The county inspector smiled at Margie and gave her an apple. So, these are the two clauses which are joined by the coordinating conjunction and and it is we are using the no word no sooner which is no sooner than it is a subordinating conjunction so they come in pairs so no sooner than needs to be used in this manner no sooner did the county inspector smile at margi than he gave her an apple so we have made use of the term no sooner than in order to join the two different coordinate clauses and eliminating the coordinating conjunction and using a subordinating conjunction over here well we will write the same sentence using hardly well hardly had the county inspector smiled at margi when he gave her an apple let's write it hardly hardly had the county inspector smiled at Margie
when he gave her an apple well the same sentence can be written with the help of as soon as as soon as the county inspector smiled at margi comma he gave her an apple so three different ways of writing the sentence no sooner hardly and as soon as as soon as the county inspector smiled at margi as soon as the county inspector smiled at margi we will have to apply a comma over here he gave her an apple <coughs> well so this is how we have written the sentence in three different ways no sooner hardly and as soon as well next we will see the sentence transformation by using if and unless so two conditional words if and unless you learned about conditional clauses in the last class standard 8 and in 7 as well so let's take the next one if and unless first one if you don't like it you don't have to read the book a textual sentence we have to change this using the if or the un uh, unless word as a conditional so we'll be using the word over here unless unless you like it you don't have to read the book so we are saying if given to us we are changing it into unless if you don't like it you don't have to read the book so if will be rewritten the sentence with the if will be rewritten with the conditional word unless note it down how this is changed <coughs> unless you like it so we are changing don't like into the positive form like isn't it unless is playing the role of the negative word don't unless so if you don't like is a straight away saying if you don't like it you don't have to read the book unless you like it until the time you start liking it don't read unless you like unless you like it you don't have to read the book so you see how we have changed the given sentence with the if conditional using the other word unless and change the making the necessary changes over here well finally we'll be taking a sentence with regards to the use two and remove two so we can apply two and we can remove two as well, well let's take an uh, example with two it's probably time for tommy to study two so write down the question third 
थर्टीन वन एंड लास्ट वन यूज टी डब्लो टू एंड रिमूव टी डब्लो टू फर्स्ट वन इट्स प्रॉब्ली टाइम फॉर टॉमी टू स्टडी टू well the two needs to be removed and rewritten so what are we going to do we are going to replace the word two with the word also isn't it two means also so it's probably time for tommy to study also similarly if also is given you can change it to t w o two note down the answer it's probably time for tommy to study and instead of two we will be writing the word also well this was the last thing that we had to understand so note down the homework in your copies transform as directed man cannot live without water interrogative second sentence the inspector smiled after he was finished and patted margie's head no sooner hardly and as soon as all three of the right so the sentence needs to be written in all the three types no sooner hardly and as soon as next sentence my father knows as much as my teacher change into interrogative change it into the interrogative sentence fourth one
इट्स नॉट अवर काइंड ऑफ स्कूल Change into affirmative. The fifth one. Margie's mother said that little girls learned better if they learned at regular hours. Change the degree. Well, so these are the five sentences that you need to do for today's homework. Do the homework, make a PDF of the same, and submit it after the lecture. Well, this was all for today's lecture and for the topic about transformation of sentences for chapter number one. See you soon in the upcoming lecture. Till then, take care. Have a nice day and goodbye.